This article first appeared on the Daily Signal. Amari Air Base, Estonia, a memorial site for Soviet Air Force pilots, is hidden in the woods just outside the gates of this NATO air base. Some of the monuments are of stone, overgrown and weathered, engraved with a communist red star and a fallen pilot's name. Other memorials are made from a fighter jet's vertical stabilizer fin. Adorned with a requisite red star and a small photo. Collectively, these forgotten memorials are epitaphs to Estonia's former Soviet statehood, as well as Amari Air Base's Cold War history as a frontline Soviet outpost against NATO. Yet, at this secluded spot on a clear summer day in August, the roar of U.S. Air Force A 10 Warthog warplanes broke the bucolic quiescence. A little more than a quarter century ago, the noise of those American jets, at this base 160 miles from the Russian border, would have meant war. However, on this day, 26 years after the Soviet Union's breakup, and 13 years after Estonia joined NATO, those U.S. warplanes were flying as part of a NATO exercise meant to reassure Estonia, and remind Moscow, that the Western alliance is ready to defend its members with military force. Every exercise that we have with our NATO allies actually sends a pretty strong message to our people and to our potential adversary that NATO is united and that Estonia is secure, Estonian Army Lt. Simosar told the Daily Signal. An A-10 Thunderbolt fires rockets as it flies by smoke rising from destroyed targets during a U.S. Air Force firepower demonstration at the Nevada Test and Training Range September 14, 2007 near Indian Springs, Nevada. The exercise, called Baltic Jungle, was part of Operation Atlantic Resolve a NATO mission involving U.S. and European partners meant to strengthen cooperation and deter Russian aggression in the wake of Russia's 2014 invasion of Crimea and ongoing proxy war in eastern Ukraine. In Estonia, where Soviet occupation is a living memory, Russian revanchism is considered an existential threat. The increased footprint of NATO military forces in the Baltics under the enhanced forward presence rotational deployments announced in Warsaw in 2016, and the constant drumbeat of military exercises across the continent under Operation Atlantic Resolve are, therefore, reassuring gestures to Estonians, and meant to serve as a message of deterrence to Moscow. It shows that we can feel safe, that we are safe, that NATO is working and that our common values are defended, Tsar said. So to Estonians, it is pretty important. Brave New World On August 10, as part of Baltic Jungle, NATO Air, Ground, and Cyber Forces simulated the defense of Estonia from a hybrid warfare attack. It's what the U.S. military calls a multinational, multi-domain exercise, and it was the first of its kind in Estonia. Defending Estonia is not just about A-10s troops, and tanks, Colonel Jory Robinson, 175th Cyberspace Operations Group Commander, said during a briefing for NATO military personnel at Amari Air Base on August 10. To defend and deter the hybrid threats, the cyber component has to be addressed as well. Robinson was among a detachment of 270 personnel from the Air National Guard's 175th Wing based out of Warfield Air National Guard Base Maryland, which was on a three-week flying training deployment to Estonia in August. The deployment was part of a state partnership program that dates back to 1993. During the Baltic Jungle exercise, a team of 35 U.S. cyber operators at Amari Air Base, working alongside five of their Estonian counterparts, responded to a simulated cyber attack in which a hypothetical adversary had infiltrated malware into computers that run maintenance diagnostics on the U.S. A-10s. The A-10, is very much a vulnerable platform and we need to be able to protect it just like we did in the old school where we would put a bunch of security forces around an airplane, said Colonel Jonathan Sutherland, U.S. Air Forces in Europe Air Forces Africa Director of Communications. Now we have to have those cyber defenders around an airplane, Sutherland said. While the cyber operators worked from Amari Air Base, airborne NATO combat units simulated an airfield seizure at a nearby highway in the rural Estonian countryside. In a choreographed flurry, 
helicopters swooped in, troops spilled out, and the helicopters lifted away. Then, under the watchful eye of U.S. and British commandos, 16 U.S. Air Force attends practice takeoffs and landings on the cordoned off roadway. The interwoven use of a Cold War era weapons system like the A 10 with modern cyber warfare assets is a bellwether for the kind of complex, multi dimensional defensive combat tactics NATO needs to hone to defend itself from modern hybrid warfare threats. The A 10s here can put bombs on target, but if they can't fly, they can't get the mission done. Brigadier General Randolph J. Stodden Rouse, wing commander of the 175th Wing, and an A-10 pilot, told the Daily Signal. So battle.